With the Bottega Veneta and the ammo bag increasing in popularity, I noticed a blogger's post about where to find the best and the ammo bag dupes. And out of curiosity, I decided to check them out. But what I found instead were bags identical to the original and the ammo bag. And they were available to purchase from a website which famously sells bags that are not authentic. And that raised the question for me. Are these bags still considered dupes? Let's discuss. In 2019, Daniel Lee brought Bottega Veneta back into the spotlight with a list of viral bags and we couldn't get enough of the brand. And while Daniel Lee is no longer a part of the brand, what he did was truly impressive because we were living in an era where logos were a predominant part of fashion. For example, the equally viral Gucci Marmont era. But Bottega stayed true to itself as Daniel Lee incorporated classic house motifs into more modern and innovative handbag designs without a single logo in sight. And while I applaud the success with Bottega not losing its integrity and not giving into logos, the brand was then subject of tens, if not even hundreds, of lookalike bags, or more commonly known as dupes. So I decided to look up the word dupe in the dictionary. And in the Cambridge Dictionary, a dupe is described as a short form of duplicate that is used to refer to a product made to look like a more expensive or high quality product. And unlike fake goods, which are described as objects that are made to look real or valuable in order to deceive people, and as a matter of fact, can be seized and confiscated in multiple countries, dupes are completely legal. For example, one of the biggest high street fashion brands, H&M, often has viral dupes. And even just now, before I filmed this video, I wanted to see what kind of bags they have available. And they saw multiple examples of bags similar to Miu Miu, Prada, Loewe, and that's just to name a few. But here the keyword is similar. They are not direct copies of the originals. And one of the easiest ways how to tell apart an original handbag between a dupe is by having a logo. However, what happens if the bag originally doesn't have a logo? Where do we draw the line? Is it really still considered a dupe even if it's nearly visually identical to the original? Now, this has been the case for Bottega bags. And if we look at it from a strictly technical perspective okay this is nothing personal so please don't come at me but if we go back to the technicalities back to the definitions by the cambridge dictionary then if the do bag looks exactly the same as the original handbag down to the materials and the dimensions it is again technically no longer inspired by the original creation but is instead made to look like the original creation therefore classifying as a fake but then why should we pay thousands if we can get the same look for less than a hundred and now this is where it all comes down to you where it's all about your opinion and your personal beliefs as well as potentially budget i can only speak for myself personally but i have even generally speaking i have never been comfortable with the idea of someone stealing someone else's creative work whether it's a design or an app or even a movie or a small shop on amazon or as a matter of fact any other small specialty shop i'm not personally comfortable with someone stealing someone else's creative idea without giving credit to the original creator but dupes on the other hand are great for those of us on a budget and those of us who often fall in love with certain trendy items but we don't want to splurge on the original just because we don't know if we'll even like those items after the trend is over just recently i saw these sandals on zara and they were very similar to the hermes empire sandals and they have like a similar leather patch in the middle as well as a toe divider however there were quite significant differences for example instead of the kelly buckle they had a more like regular buckle on the side and it also had a kitten heel while the original authentic hermes empire sandals they are flat so i think that in this particular case zara did a great job of creating something that is their own but is still kind of giving the Hermes Empire sandal vibes. This to me is the perfect example of a dupe. And I think it's also great because it is not exactly the same, but you can still kind of test it out and see if it's going to fit your lifestyle because nobody wants a 900 euro pair of sandals that is not going to fit their lifestyle because selling 
has never been easy, but now it is practically impossible. So in the end, I think it all comes down to each individual person and what they're comfortable with. If you've seen Sex in the City, you may remember an episode. Well, actually, no, I think it was a two-parter where all the girls went to LA and Samantha bought a fake Fendi baguette but she carried it with such confidence that no one could tell to me and once again i can only speak for myself but to me a designer bag is so much more than a logo it is a piece of fashion history it's something that i thought i would never be able to own and sometimes i still have to pinch myself to believe that i actually own these beautiful beautiful handbags so you can tell me that i'm brainwashed you can tell me that i have wasted my money but in a world with so much negativity in it if an overpriced material thing can make me happy why shouldn't i have it so very generally speaking if a fake bottega veneta bag can bring you an equal amount of happiness who am i to judge there's only one thing that in this particular case makes me uncomfortable and that's pretending to have an authentic item even though you don't because in the age of social media i think that that person may just be making a bunch of other people feel bad about themselves because they think that they're the only people that can't afford a designer handbag even though it's a hundred percent not true so that person may just make a bunch of people feel bad about themselves for no reason because they also don't have an authentic item but that would already be a whole other discussion about ethics and culture maybe but anyway we work hard, we should be able to spend our money on things that make us the happiest. And now I'm curious to hear about what you guys think about this topic. So please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in my next video and stay safe, everyone.